What's up everybody, it's John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanted to talk about how to fuck the shit out of the girl and give her the best sexual experience of her life, okay? So before we continue, please like and subscribe below if you have not already. Press the notification bell to get notified of new videos Sunday through Thursday each week. So, I was doing some thinking lately because I've been hearing from a lot of the new girls that I bang. Like, oh, that was by far the best sex I've ever had. Like, so I, I always set, and you can you can do this yourself, okay, but you're going to have to up your sex game. I always set the goal of giving a girl more ad, more orgasms on the first time we have sex than she's ever had in her entire life from one session, okay? So a lot of times I'll ask the chick, like, when we're fucking, like, what's the most times you've ever come, ever had an orgasm from one session of sex, right? And they'll be like, two or five or whatever the fuck right and it girl like some girls can come very easily and some take a whole bunch of effort okay watch the video i will link in the description i have a video on how to make a girl orgasm in under 10 seconds using a fingering technique in combination with basically you put your thumb on the clit and then you have your pointer and middle, middle finger okay hitting the g spot going deep and you're kind of doing this vigorous motion but i go through the details in that video it's a really old video on my channel. It has like 25,000 views now. I will, uh, I will link that in the description. But if you can do this, like, yes, it's important to bring the alpha mindsets to the table. It's important to be the man. It's important to provide value in her life, be the cool dude, etc. have boundaries. But your sex game, you can fucking, if you rock the shit out of her, right? Like, she's going to keep coming back right like I had a uh, like the chick the chick that comes to mind maybe want to do this video it was like three days ago I had this like 23 year old uh, Polish Norwegian mix and we went like seven rounds I think we started at like I think 1 p.m. or something like that and she ended up leaving at like 9 30 and that's not typical usually it's like two or three rounds or, or sometimes just one if there's time pressure and this chick was just like fucking orgasming like crazy, right? There's different, just like I optimize game, I optimize different orgasm techniques and making them fucking come a lot during sex. What you should do, okay, because I'm not going to go through every single position and technique in, in this video. I'll probably make some follow-on videos that go through all the specifics. But what you should do is uh, watch porn and copy different shit they're doing, okay? Some of the girls are faking being turned on and making fake noises and stupid shit like that. But watch the different positions the guys are doing. Watch how the girls react when they do different techniques and then copy that. That's how I developed all these things. And then when you try it out, you basically are getting direct feedback, okay? You're seeing how the girl responds, okay? But just really quickly, like from what comes to mind, Almost every chick, like I would say probably like 80 to 90% of all these chicks, like I have over 10,000 phone number leads in my phone. I don't know how many interactions I've had, tens of thousands. Over 10,000 phone number leads in my phone, banged over a thousand chicks. Probably 80 to 90%, their favorite, their favorite position is doggy style, okay? So when you're sexting with a girl over text message, a lot of times they wanna hear that you're gonna fuck them from behind spank their ass and pull their hair all right so when you're fucking a girl doggy style you can wrap their fucking hair like okay go around in a circle like around your wrist pull back on it fucking grab on her hips right so you're getting like leverage when you're pulling her hair back like she's kind of like being pulled back and you're spanking her ass okay on both cheeks pretty hard all right while you're fucking her and pulling her hair chicks love that shit okay in terms of g-spots when the chick is on top of you, you can arch your pelvis, like arch your fucking hips and waist up a bit, okay? And you'll feel like, or you'll, you'll see the, the chick's reaction, right? Like if you just arch a bit, and you can see guys doing this in porn, the chick is going to respond. She's going to be a lot more turned on. It's going to hit a lot more of an intensive, insensitive spot, okay? And you can lick either thumb and you can also be stimulating the clit while she's on top, okay? Like think about when a girl 
like evolutionarily the clit is like the equivalent of the head of your dick right and the inside of a girl's vagina is the equivalent of like the penis shaft right <laughs> it's funny it feels like a sex ed teacher here so when you're getting like a blowjob for instance it feels much better when the chick is working the fucking dick and also the head of the penis instead of just one or the other okay and the same goes for the chick so when she's on top and you arch up and you're hitting her g-spots it's the same area that you're hitting when you're doing that fingering technique with your thumb and your two fingers. And then you're licking one of your thumbs and you're, and you're working the clit. It's like similar to the fingering version that I talked about in that video um, and how to make a girl orgasm in less than 10 seconds. And that's going to drive her crazy. She's going to come a lot from that. Okay, when you're on top of her, you can put her legs up over your shoulders and it's good to make them at like a 90 degree angle. Right, so her legs are like straight up, just like 90 degrees, okay? Over your shoulder, and you're hitting like this deep G spot like that from the top, okay? Um, you can do <laughs> you can do shit where you're like fucking the girl sideways and you reach around and you're rubbing her clit. Um, like put a girl up on a counter, okay, and you're just fucking her straight on. And again, hitting her clit with your thumb. Try to simulate a whole bunch of areas at once. Okay, like you're sucking her nipples, you're kissing her neck, you're working your thumb on her clit, you're hitting her G spot. Okay, you can vary the speed at which you're fucking her and the in the strength, like how hard you're fucking her. Um, like if I'm fucking a girl like sideways facing her after like pounding her doggy style, for instance, when she's facing me. I might like fucking just start slow kissing her and like you're sliding in really slow and deep. So just watch a bunch of porn and watch what they're doing. Practice varying up the speed, varying up the intensity, switching a whole bunch of positions. You can order fucking books online. Like I have multiple books that talk about like hundreds of positions. Okay, you can try those different ones out with the chick. Um, but you're gonna have like your go-to set of positions like the, when I like put a chick like through the circuit so to speak when I bang her for the first time there's like 10 to 15 sometimes up to 20 different positions we'll do she can ride you backwards like off the fucking couch um, you can bang her up against the wall where you're both standing okay you can grab one of her legs and pull it back there's all this shit you can do and you should get good at eating her pussy as well there, there goes my fucking mon monetization on this video <laughs> so you should get good at Fucking, you know, I don't even know how to describe that in words. But watch when they're doing the close-up in the porn. Watch the technique that they're doing with their tongue. There's also books and PDFs you can get on that. You want to master these things because when you rock a chick, like if you give her an underwhelming sexual experience, okay, and if you have problems with premature ejaculation, you need to fucking solve that. You need to, like, retrain your brain so that you're not busting nuts, right? Like if you're, if you're not having that much sex... It's going to be tougher to contain yourself if you're fucking hot chicks all the time. Like you want to work it up so you're having a lot more sex. And, you know, if it's with a lot of partners and the chicks are hot, it's not going to really phase you when you're banging a hot chick. Okay, you're going to be able to go for as long as you want. Um, but yeah, if you're, if you're coming too quickly, you need to fix that. Like I hear a lot of chicks will complain to me about other partners they've had or that they or that they had right before me or, or whatever. Um the biggest complaints are like the guy only does a couple positions. Like a lot of guys will just fuck the girl missionary or like just missionary and girl on top, you know, or like a couple of like the standard positions. And then the other one is like they, the guy doesn't last that long. Like he'll fucking just be getting started and he'll fucking bust a nut and finish. And the chick was like, didn't even get to come yet, et cetera, et cetera. So the takeaways here <laughs> watch porn, replicate their moves very speed and intensity change up positions a lot and learn how to you can even google each each positions g-spots learn how to hit the g-spots in each of the different positions so that you are giving her a maximally satisfying sexual experience so like chicks that i like fucking rock like really hard okay which is most of them like if we, if we were like really pressed for time and i didn't have like time to give her like the full treatment sometimes i need to do that on the second or third hangout but like chicks that I've rocked before, like they're they're just like blowing up your phone all the time. Like you're like a fucking drug to them, okay? Because you equate to a whole bunch of orgasms that other guys can't give them. So now not only 
are you separating yourself out as this high value cool dude who doesn't give a fuck but now you're also this dude that makes him come more than any other fucking dude they met okay so it's just fucking a cherry on top of the whole nice ice cream sundae so please like and subscribe below if you have not already press the notification bell for notifications and the montage that i reference is going to be coming out soon where it's just a a series of clips that make me look like a superstar and you will see that on the channel sometime soon thank you so much for watching guys take care